ladies and gentlemen, Captain Shack here, and welcome to my ongoing coverage of Star Citizen. It's hands down the biggest space sim title that's ever been dreamed of, with a huge number of impressive game features, but the one single feature that has me personally more excited than most is the modding support. For the uninitiated, mods or modding is all about changing your game, customizing it in some way. Examples can range from changing the sound of a single weapon, or maybe improving a single texture or UI element up to and including total conversions, which can literally take an old game and remake it completely inside the original engine, making it pretty much a new game. One of RSI's initial designs was to have hosting of a version of the Persistent Universe that could be possible on a private server, allowing for players to mod whatever they wished inside their own server. Outside of the main server, ship modeling and basic design tools were also planned. Something that has some mod authors kind of concerned, and the reason why a lot of the well-known mod teams are kind of on the wait and see fence or attitude is the fact that there hasn't been much of a mention of modding tools for some time now, so we don't know exactly what's going on uh, for modding support. Hopefully we'll find out soon. But Star Citizen, with its incredible level of detail, has inspired many talented individuals to start working on custom assets already, designing new ships for the title. With such an amazing group of artists volunteering, RSI decided to hold a competition a while back called The Next Great Starship that, that brought a bunch of teams together to see whose ship would make it into the final game's release. It was really compelling to watch, and if you're interested, the videos are still up on RSI's YouTube channel, so I recommend you check it out. You can actually see the, the ships be designed from the ground up. Anyways, getting back to the modding community, there are a lot of current projects being developed. If you're a fan of science fiction and love the idea of a universe populated with lots of different ships, then you'll see why this has me so excited. Keep in mind, most of these ships are still in development. Alexander Advanced Weapon Class Destroyer. It's equipped with Gauss cannons and an underslung captain's yacht that is definitely one of my favorites. This was made by Lexan over on the forums. The X-2 Manta Advanced Starfighter by Chmi. I think I said that right. It's a Xeon human hybrid representing the pinnacle of cutting edge starship design. The X-2 Manta is a formidable opponent for the most demanding of combat situations. The Osiris by Korthan. This little baby is a deep space exploration scout and cargo vessel, a real multi-role ship. I love the oddball design on this one. This one is definitely one of the strangest. The Hopper Mark III by Maris Jonas. It's built for long expeditions into extreme conditions of uncharted space and harsh planets. The legs are built to allow landing on just about any surface. Lots of thrusters and big fuel tanks keep the Grasshopper an agile long distance ship. The Switchblade Fighter. If a capital ship had a pocket knife to protect itself, this would be it. Perfect for a ship that has storage space problems. The X-38 Sun Dagger. Another design from Shmi. Ch Chimi? Chimi? The X-38 Sun Dagger is another design from Chimi. I hope I said that right. Talk about retro. It even has a Batman paint option. I love these paint jobs. The fact that it even has the standard docking ring from Star Citizen integrated into the retro design just makes me laugh. I love it. And this is without even having full-on tools released. There's even a Halo mod in the works by a small team. But what are you guys most excited for? And what kind of mod would you like to see made? Let me know in the comments below. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.